Hi there and welcome to Joe World. Please consider subscribing to this channel and turn on the notification bell so you will not miss any of our uploads. It seems like the drama between Iyaba Ojo and Yomi Fabi is not anywhere near ending. Remember that the last time we spoke about Yomi Fabi and Iyaba Ojo, I said that he has made himself or named himself Iyaba Ojo's husband, even going as far as planning to shoot a movie which is going to actually start filming on the 2nd of June 2020, titled Oko Iyabo. Now, Iyabo Ojo has responded to everything Yomi Fabi has said, and not only that, she came out with receipts and evidences of Yomi Fabi trying to apologize to her on WhatsApp and trying to make peace with her. And the, the dialogue they had, conversation they had concerning the old Baba Ijesha situation. Now, the gist started when Yomi Fabi went on social media instagram particularly to refer to iyabo ojo as chasing clouds and threatening babai jesha for his when whenever he gets released from jail so iyabo ojo said see i hope it's not me you are referring to because i don't know who's on the table bed or floor and even in that industry you don't take everybody know their level i don't like to be proud but you're me you don't take and you know furthermore i want you to know i stand for justice for that 14 year old girl she said even if it was her son that raped that girl she would disown him straight up and will still stand with the innocent victim i don't support rubbish and i have nothing to gain trying to pull anybody down see your, your fabi started his own drama he said see first and foremost i have never exhibited anything different to what you stand for i don't condone such criminality okay so he now said people were calling him names for keeping quiet because he is a colleague and he just wanted to say something so that it wouldn't be like he is not taking sides with a colleague of his, which is why he said everybody should calm down until Babajisha says something publicly or confesses to the crime that is a popular comedian and he was trying to avoid what happened to Baba Suwe, his own mentor at that time when reports came out that he did cocaine and for days no contrary story and people want you know to distance themselves from Baba Suwe even up to now most people do not recognize Baba Suwe anymore because of what happened with him that year and now that the police and Baba Jesha confirmed that he did not rape the girl he said there is no video to suggest that he actually raped the girl but then there was video evidences to show that it acted inappropriately with this young lady he now said the kind of regard he has for yabojo is going to be the last person to come for yabojo in words or in post but man you actually did that at the end of the day and that she understands that the girl mentioned a new name and person arrested he says he's on his way to the station now but he does not want to be cyber bullied and since she already mentioned someone else's name now yomi fabi he gave his own statement yabo Ojo now told him that see this is what is happening yes she mentioned someone else's name but that does not mean that baba Ijesha is innocent that it has nothing to do with baba Ijesha molesting a minor and is yomi fabi trying to justify molestation someone that was molesting a child what would it have led to if he wasn't caught? Sucking a 14-year-old's finger, kissing, licking, and caressing a minor. Please, what's the difference? It's a pedophile. Yeah, for me, Fabi, too. Shah wanted to defend himself. He says, I'm not at that level, yeah, but I am too much for such. I have fought a mother and said she doesn't deserve a child. How much more molestation? I'm not at this kind of level. I am simply careful and drawing comparison to drive home reason why I need to be cautious not now and that is not defending anything that he has he stood his ground against the dpo and an ipo the, the child stepfather supported and even his film crew members were shocked that is when he now took things a notch higher he said if princess is found wanting for negligence and abuse he will take it up because he's hearing series of angles and is not happy and an innocent child is involved that it is safe to allow him to know the matter before pressuring him to react and not label him an hypocrite because she may mistakenly say something that is the victim may say something that may point to where her abuse started that princess did not even say anything 
Ya bo jo sha finish thing we said does not care. Baba je sha o, mama je sha o, baby princess so, princess so. Anyone found guilty should pay the price. Children are precious and should be defended and supported. So he's saying he ended the whole story by saying Yabojo should forgive him that she attacked him on social media and she was the last person or she is the last person he will expect to come for him on social media of all places that she does not know how high he values her and the way he views the relationship she shares with him so she's speaking from a place of a mother and a friend she know the video will op- definitely offend some of you but she asked the shoes with either setting the record straight and standing for that innocent girl that has nothing to do with Jomi Fabi. So they say, okay, dear, I still have my ear, but peace, dear. So now, those of us are even fighting for this, both of them choosing parties and favorites on social media. I feel like it's not even needed because from this conversation, it is sure that both of them have squashed whatever it is between them because this is calling themselves dear. I still have my ear, but him coming out to say ah, i'm okoyabo at the end of the day we really do not need to actually pick sides on all of this because at the end of the day both of them are still friends and even with yabo just suing him for defamation that is why he can even come out to say that suit is not going to hold anywhere because he's not going to respond to it it is sure for him that he still has his friend yabojo anyways that's the summary of the whole story now and that is where everything lies at this moment let me know what you think remember that baba jesha has actually been released from jail he was released yabojo came out to say something concerning his release that they are still going to fight for him he's still they are still considering the whole thing princess says slowly but surely someday she's going to win might not be immediately but sometime soon she's going to win the whole matter yomi fabi is saying glory victory at last his fight has been justified because what yomi fabi has been fighting for all along is that baba Jesha should be released from jail his human rights should not be spat upon just because he is being accused of a crime and that is why he staged his protest but you know that it is not Yomifa B.U.'s protest that actually brought Baba Jesha out of prison it is because they decided to decongest the CIQ headquarters in Pansy and they treated Baba Jesha's case and that is why he came out of jail not necessarily Yomifa B.U.'s efforts according to to report but then Yomifabi has taken the glory Yabojo is still pursuing it princess is still pursuing the case of course and he still has his court hearing because he's been charged to court we hope that he's, he's not going to jump bail and he's going to actually appear for his court hearing and we can know where the whole issue will end that's it from my hand let me know what to think about the old Yomifabi and Yabojo case should they just sit down already and let princess take up the matter as she is the foster mother of this child I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care of yourself. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to this channel if you are yet to do that. And turn on the notification bell so you will not miss any upload from us. Bye.